Hey, I got six movies for Christmas. I had seen three of them already, but now I've seen all six of them. So let's talk about that. First up is Dunkirk. This is a 2017 Christopher Nolan movie starring a bunch of really great actors and it is inspired by true events. It's a World War II movie where Britain is trying to uh, uh, retreat out of France uh, and it's a big turning point in the war apparently. Um, but yeah, it just it really just shows the horrors, the true horrors of war, just how messed up it is. And it's it's everything you expect to be. It's great, it's awesome, shot incredibly, it's a very powerful story. You feel anxious the entire time just because it's like, oh, we could die at any second in a really horrible way, and that's truly awful. Um, but it's also pretty inspiring. It's just like, yeah, I go like not like yay war, but more just like, yay, they made it, good job not dying. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's great. I enjoyed it. It felt it actually felt like it went by really fast. I had not seen it before. I just kind of missed it when it came out. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's it's If you haven't seen it before, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're a fan of historical movies or war movies. It's, it's definitely not like a regular war movie. It doesn't follow usual tropes for the most part. Um, I would definitely say it's an anti-war movie, but I feel like most war movies are actually anti-war movies. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's good. Yeah, definitely worth a watch. I really enjoyed it. Our next up is Crimson Peak. This is a 2015 Guillermo del Toro movie starring, I might mess up her last name, Mia Wazowska, Jessica Chastain, Tom Hilson, and Charlie Hannon, who I normally don't like, but I think he actually did good here. Uh, the basic premise of this is, uh, it's a quote from the movie, uh, this isn't a ghost story, it's a story with ghosts in it. And really, that's true what it is. It's basically um, the main character can kind of see ghosts and spooky stuff happens, but it's more it's more than that. Um, if you're a fan of Del Toro, it's definitely a must watch. I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, what took away from my enjoyment of the movie was just that I was always like 20 minutes ahead of it. Just like I was like, oh, is this going to happen? 20 minutes go by. Oh, that happened. All right. And so, like, while watching the movie, it wasn't, like, too into it. But then, like, once it was done and just kind of me taking everything in, I'm like, no, 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 I quite, I quite enjoyed it. Um, the story, I liked the story. It was, it was a good story. I loved, I crazy loved the aesthetic. Just, like, the house they're in uh, is all the gothic greatness. Uh, I loved all the colors. I loved the, um, the creature designs, the ghosts. Um, every single time spooks happened, it was, they nailed it. It was so great. And honestly, if that's something, I know it's not a ghost story, but I just wish there would have been more ghosty things that happened. Just because, like, they did such a good job with them. But then also, I feel like they easily could have incorporated them more into the plot than they already were. It's kind of hard to describe without getting into spoilers. It's, I don't know, it's good, though. It's really, really, it's quite, I quite enjoyed it. It's really good, though. Uh, I recommend the hell, I definitely recommend it. Um, what else did I want to say? I'm not a huge fan of the main actress. Um, just in general, I feel like she's kind of flat. But I liked everyone else, especially Jessica Chastain. It makes me want to watch more of her stuff, which I probably will. So yeah, you want some spooks? You want some gothic prettiness? Then this is definitely worth a watch. I definitely I definitely recommend this one. And lastly is Melancholia. This is a Lars van Trier movie starring Kristen Dunstler and some other great actors. Um, and the basic premise of this is it's essentially just, it's an art house film that just like, it's all about what, like, depression. It's just a movie about severe depression. Um, and it's really well done. I, I quite enjoyed it, put it just a little bit lower than Crimson Peak. Um, but it's really good. This movie is definitely not for everyone, though, just because, like, I mean, like, I don't, no words are spoken in, like, the first 10 minutes. Because the first 10 minutes are, like, just um, these slow-moving images kind of um, that are metaphors for stuff that happens later in the movie. Um, and it was really beautiful, and I really, really like that. Um, and then what's so interesting, too, about this movie is it's split into two halves, and I don't think they needed the second half. Like, I think the movie could have stood on its own without the second half. And, like, if you read any descriptions of what this movie is about, it talks about that second half, which there's no allusion to in the first half. 
because there's sort of like a sci-fi element that happens in the second half and it's i get why they did it though because it's just about like she is like maxed out and like just like doom and gloom like the world is ending constantly so like there's nothing that can like push her above where she's at and then when something does happen in the second half to like push everyone up up a bit she can't go any higher so that's like kind of part of the metaphor there's there's more stuff to it than just that but i think that's kind of the main takeaway um which i did so yeah i did find the second half interesting i just think i think the first half kind of was enough of a movie they didn't really need to go into that second half um but yeah it's good don't recommend it unless like you're familiar with this director or if like you just really want to watch an art house movie or a movie about depression definitely you should probably go into this when you're like not in a saddened or depression state yourself just because it might trigger some stuff but it is it's really good definitely quite enjoyed it so yeah again don't recommend it though Unless, like, you know what you're getting in for. I love this poster. All three posters from today were great. I loved I loved all of them. Definitely glad I own all three of these movies now.